Hello and welcome back to Histology with Saleh. This is the third video in the series and in this video we talk about light microscopy. Light microscopy is a technique used in the study of the tissues in histological examinations. To do this technique we need to have our hands on an equipment called a light microscope. A light microscope is the most simple form of microscope and it has many kinds or many types. Beginning with bright field microscope is the most cheapest one and also the widely used one. Next is confocal microscope which is a specialized form of light microscope phase contrast microscope which is also one of the specialized forms of light microscope polarizing microscope also a specialized form and fluorescence microscope also a specialized form though these five types of microscopes differ from one another in many aspects they share some basic and principal characteristics. They are all based on the interaction of light with the components of the tissue under study. And all of these five types of light microscope are used to study the tissue, to study the cells, and reveal the structures and features of the tissue and or the cells under study. Bright field microscope. As mentioned before, this type of microscope is the most simple form of microscope in the group of light microscopes. This simple light microscope is cheap, is found everywhere in the world and usually used in the or ordinary everyday functions of the histological examination and this type of microscope uses the ordinary light. Components of Brightfield microscope are three main components and every type of this Brightfield microscope no matter where it is built in and what shape it has will be these three components, condenser, objectives, and eyepiece. The condenser is the part of the microscope that focuses the light on the object that is being studied. The objective is a part that magnifies the image of the object and then transfers it through the eyepiece for the observer to see. And finally, the eyepiece is the ocular lens that further magnifies the image of the object and makes it able for the observer to see it as seen in the image. Confocal microscope, as mentioned before, it is a specialized type of microscope. It is still is a light microscope, but much more sophisticated than the bright field one. It is very effective in focusing the light on the object and therefore no excess light remains to cause a decrease in the resolution and in the contrast of the image. Therefore, the confocal microscope produces images with sharp focus and high resolution. This sharp focus and high resolution images is achieved by having a small point of high intensity light. Often this light is going to be from a laser. And also the confocal microscope is going to have a plate with pinch hole apertures and this pinch hole aperture 
is going to be directly in front of the image detector. This is the image that shows how the confocal microscope works. Next we have phase contrast microscope, also one of these specialized types of light microscope. And to use this, the main purpose is going to be the study of the sections or prepared sections of cells and tissues that are not stained and remain unstained. This is used with living cultured cells for various purposes and it is based on the principle of change of speed of light while it travels through different surfaces and different types of components of the tissue. Here we have an image. Left is the image of a bright field microscope, unstained preparation, and right is the image of a phase contrast microscope, also unstained preparation. You can see the difference and the amount of contrast between them, the difference between them, and why this is very good in studying a non or unstained preparation. Next we have polarizing microscope. Polarizing microscope is also one of the highly modified forms of light microscope. It is very good in recognition of structures that are both stained and or unstained. So it doesn't matter whether you stain it or you don't stain it. You can use the polarizing microscope and get a good uh, image with high resolution and also substances that are highly rich in organized subunits also are being visualized very well with polarizing microscope we have this uh, light source and this light source emits the light the light goes and hits the, the uh, polarizing filter this polarizing filter then um, gathers the light, the rays of the lights, and uh, d directs them into a single direction, same direction, parallel direction, and it goes and hits the object. Uh, it only produces images of uh, substances that are with repetitive macromolecular structures, like uh, extracellular matrix that has abundant collagen fibers that are macromolecular structures. This is an image of bright field microscope on the top and an image of polarizing microscope at the bottom. At the top we can see uh, cell nuclei, the dark dots, we can see the elastic fibers and we can see the collagen fibers. But in the bottom which is polarizing microscope we only see the collagen fibers which is macromolecular structure. Next we have fluorescence microscopy. Use the fluorescence microscope to do this and this is uh, our source of light. Then uh, this source of light emits the light onto the object and from the object the light passes to the eye of the observer. The source of light in fluorescence microscopy is usually going to be UV light or ultraviolet light. The tissue is going to be put on a slide like that and then the light that travels from the tissue toward the uh, observer's eye it's going to be the visible light having the visible wavelength and uh, this type of uh, microscopy has its own dyes has its own types of uh, stains particularly and most importantly acridine orange with both stains the DNA and the RNA and also there are some other type of dyes like, called the DAPI and called Hoetzt. These two type of dyes stain only the DNA portion and not the RNA. 
there's also some uh, uh, compounds that are fluorescent these compounds can be added to antibodies and uh, through that we can study histo uh, immunologically the uh, tissue that has been prepared for whatever reason we have to do that and this is another image lift is uh, a preparation stained with acridine orange it both shows the uh, nucleus uh, with the dna and uh, also the cytoplasm with rna the the nucleus shown by n the rna shows by r and uh, we have at the right the dapi stain which is short form for di four six diamino to phenyl indole which is a substance used as a fluorescent this only dyes the dna portion as seen in the image like dark blue dots thank you very much from uh, for bearing and for staying with us please do not forget to subscribe hit the button up let's say subscribe hit the bell button and stay tuned next we'll discuss electron microscopy